Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on Fantastic Talks. I am back to bring yet another draggable Sparking Zero video for you guys today. This is going to be a short video for you guys today because not much has been revealed. Uh, I just want to sort of share my thoughts and opinions on the new V-Jump scans that have been revealed for the game. And it has given us an update on characters that we haven't seen announced for the game yet. Including, finally, a version of Gohan uh, that we're finally getting. Um, which obviously is Kid Gohan. As, as we can see so there's been so not only there was a v-jump scan but the, i think on, on their website they released four new screenshots of uh four different characters uh one of them being kid gohan we have a version of piccolo probably not super piccolo as we know we know he's already in it uh we have master Ro master roshi not in his max power form and we have uh saying saying saga yamcha now, these four, these four characters we kind of knew we were expecting. Uh, I mean, the one thing I could, I could sort of say here is this could indicate that we're going to get different versions of Piccolo as well as Goku and Vegeta, uh, like Goku early, mid and end, uh, which could indicate that this Piccolo we're seeing uh, is early Piccolo, probably. It's the same Saga Piccolo. Um, whereas the super version of Pic Piccolo is probably going to be the end Piccolo, which makes me wonder what this version of Master Roshi is as well. So we obviously have Super Roshi that was announced in the last trailer. He had his staff in hand. He was max power. It was obviously the draggable super version, uh, which makes me wonder what this version of Master Roshi is. Is this the Z version of Roshi uh, or is this just an alternate outfit of Roshi? Could be a different version of Roshi because obviously he hasn't got his staff on. He hasn't got the like, staff on him because he's doing the Thunder Shock move, uh, but this it could have just been put away for this cutscene of a move, so who knows. But this this does indicate we could get another, we could get two versions of Roshi. So, uh, as well as Yamcha, we're probably going to get a super version of Yamcha later on as well. I'm pretty sure he was confirmed for that in the first trailer. I'm not sure. I mean, he's doing Wolf Fang Fist. Don't know if it was Yam, if it's a Saiyan arc or Super arc. I'm not sure. Um, but either way. Good to good to know we we are we are getting Kid Gohan. I was worried going to leave him out completely. That would have been so dumb. Um, but not only that, we have also got a V jump scan of a few extra characters as well as these four, revealing Lord Beerus and Whis, as we can see. So this is it. This is a very interesting um, V jump scan because uh, what what I've been hearing people say and what's been sort of dubbed for uh, what the theme what the theme of this V jump scan is. Um, is a Masters versus Apprentice uh, theme going on because not only are we getting Beerus and Whis uh, play as playable characters, Whis I was surprised that we're coming is coming back as a playable character after Xenoverse. I mean, I'm kind of not surprised. I guess he's going to be quite interesting to play. I guess in a Tenkaichi style game, so I'm really excited for that. But yeah, not only are we getting Beerus and Whis as Master and Apprentice, I assume that's what those two are. But we have got some. We got another version of Gohan, Adult Goh from the Boo Saga, as well as Videl, the most badass version of Videl in her World Tournament attire. And not only that, we have got confirmation of future Gohan, and it's future Gohan without the arm, as we can see here. I am very surprised they have kept that as a thing. I'm really glad they're finally in some of the like like past some of the past games over the last few years. They have been finally been a bit more loose with giving Future Gohan the no arm sort of look, and thank God they've kept it for this game. I'm very very happy that Future Gohan has been confirmed to come back uh, with no arm as well, as well as he's probably going to lose another arm here because this screenshot here is a bit awkward to look at because his arm looks like it's sort of flinging way far back. It's a bit of an awkward angle, so I don't know what move. Oh, he could be... F oh, I know what move this is. He's obviously fighting Android 17 here, from what I could see in that first shot. I mean, it's kind of blurry, but... Um, it looks like this could be his ultimate attack, where he's sort of charged towards 17, and sort of bringing him down from the from the sky, and sort of whacking him down to the ground, and then he does the Kamehameha move. That's what, So that's obviously going to be his ultimate attack, from what we know from, like, Tenkaichi 3 and Ranger Blast 2. Uh, so that's probably what we're seeing here. So he's probably... Just holding 17 at an awkward angle, which makes me think, just makes it look like his his arm was way too, like 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 broke far back, like like the the attacks here are kind of brutal. <laughs> so, uh, don't know what's going on here. Um, but no, this is I'm so yeah, I'm so glad we're getting Future Gohan, and we've also got another version of Future Trunks, uh, which makes me wonder. I think this probably is Dragon Ball Super Trunks. That we saw in the last in the last couple of trailers, because what looks 
like here. This is his, it looks like he's doing his sword of hope move. I don't remember his his um sword if he was doing the auto attack he did against uh, Mecha Freezer. I don't remember his sword glowing like that. If in this outfit, so I this could be the same version of Trunks we saw in the last trade where he was in his Dragon Ball Super outfit, which makes me wonder. This is probably his alternate outfit uh, to fight against uh, the androids, uh, which make which. Which means that future Trunks from the Z Saga and future Trunks from the Super Saga is going to be one character, but from by the looks of it, because I'm pretty sure future Trunks Super was dubbed Trunks Sword, as well as that this version has. I think, I I'm, I if I remember correctly, but at least it confirms we are going to get different outfits. And cool that the the, the alternate outfit is him with purple hair. So. It just kind of makes sense. See, uh, it be, I guess it'd be kind of interesting to have future Trunks from Z have some Dragon Ball Super moves. Him doing Gallic Gun and Sword of Hope be kind of a cool uh, look to him. Uh, I mean, how future, tr future Trunks and Super should have looked like him kept the purple hair, the tank top and stuff. So <laughs> I guess it's, it'd be cool to sort of alternate certain fights in his outfit. So. That'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, what? So this make this makes it look like it's going to be some sort of. Uh, oh, there's. I mean, there's confirmation of Creature Gone doing his Kamehameha ultimate move. Oh, mind you, he's not Super Saiyan there, but in the other shots he is. So who knows? Yeah. So this could indicate what we are going to be expecting another trailer soon, dubbed the Masters vs Apprentice trailer. So whereas the last trailer was dubbed Power vs Speed. So. This is going to be quite an interesting uh, trailer to, to see. It's cool that Beerus and Whis are classed as Masters and Apprentice because Beerus is the apprentice to Whis. So that's really cool. Cool, we'll get, we're getting Beerus' uh, Supernova move again. Mas and we got the other shots of Master Roshi Piccolo and Kid Gohan revealed like they were before. We got more shots of Krill in there as well, doing his uh, downward like energy ball move and whatever that's called. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, that again, uh, and that's kind of it really. Um, again, like uh, I just sort of want to just go over this again with uh, Roshi. This could th we, we don't know what this version of Roshi is. This could be uh, alternate outfit Roshi, and he, we're just seeing him do an alternate move without the staff, or or this is two different Roshis from one from Z, one from Super, like I said before. So either way, I'm I'm glad that a version of Roshi is in it, and we'll, hopefully we we'll get different moves. What I like about this version of Piccolo, he's it looks like he's doing a mouth blast move. So I'm wondering if this is the move that he did against one of Lord Slug's men that was a move in, I think, Tenkechi 3 or Raging Blast 2, uh, where you sort of, sort of dash towards them and flung them up in the air and you, you sort of blast them uh, out of the mouth uh, into the into the sky. Uh, so I'm wondering, um, so probably could be, that could be what we're seeing here for Piccolo, which obviously indicates early Piccolo. So... Uh, really, really cool that they're giving him that move again. If that's what we're seeing here, and yeah, Kid Gohan doing hit, her, hit, her, Kid, Go Kid Gohan doing his is a uh, power ball move, whatever it's called, uh, the power shot move, I think. Uh, unless that is his ultimate attack he did against Freezer. Uh, I think it is the ultimate attack he did against Freezer, regardless. So, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really, ex I'm really glad we're, we're hopefully we'll see the alternate alternate outfits of Kid Gohan come back, like with him with his bandana. Uh, the Saiyan armor. I would. I'm. I. I would like to have an outfit of Kid Gohan with uh, Goku's gi, but obviously he had Piccolo's um, logo on him as well with the sword. It'd be nice to have that outfit uh, as Kid Gohan to wear, because I, I don't think that was done in a game before. So fingers crossed that is an outfit we can wear. I don't even know if Xenoverse did it. I don't think Xenoverse did it. Uh, I def definitely take actually didn't do it. So. I don't think. I'm pretty sure no. Um, so hopefully that is another uh, that is an outfit we, 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 uh, that we'll be getting for Kid Gohan, uh, as well as like Piccolo's sort of early Z outfit where he was like when he up against Raditz, whether where his purple outfit was sort of a bit more like covering the chest a bit more, his eyes were a lot more rounder maybe. Uh, that'd be really cool. Just like like attention to detail there for an out for an alternate outfit. Uh, but I wouldn't be fussed either way. Uh, it's only because the fan game of Tenkaichi 4 did it, so that'd be really cool to see in, a, in an official game. Uh, otherwise, that's kind of all I could say for these shots. I just sort of wanted to share my opinion and and sort of predict uh, what's coming next for a trailer. 
Uh, really, I'm really looking forward to seeing seeing what Weiss's moves are going to be. I don't know if they're going to be the same as he had. I mean, it looks like it could be the same as what he had in Xenoverse because it look the the B move. He it looks like I don't know if he's he's doing that weird orchestra move. I don't know, like uh, and where he sort of like I think where he makes like a whirlwind of some sort and sort of like flings the opponent up in the air, spins them around. I think um, so that could be what we're seeing here for the move he's about to perform. Uh, I mean, so I don't know if these two pictures are we, is what's linked to that move he's about to perform. Um, hopefully we do get some sort of like uh, story mode confirmation of like uh, doing the history of Trunks uh, mission and stuff. Uh, where you get to play as future Gohan against the androids and some couple of cutscenes and dialogue being pl um, played out and stuff. So I'd love to see that because uh, I don't think that's been done in the game in the past before. Um, I, I remember it being in Tenkaichi 2 but it wasn't really future Gohan, it was adult Gohan. Um, well, the like, Boo Saga Gohan. Um, so hopefully we get some uh, a cooler, in cool interaction there with the androids. Cool to see. It'd be nice to see a training sequence cutscene as well with, with Gohan and Videl. Uh, hopefully, so yeah. So yeah I hope, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing when this trailer's out and what's it going to confirm for story missions. Uh, and yeah, I we, hopefully we should be expecting another trailer soon. Uh, based in fact, because I remember when the Power and Speed scans came out. A trailer for that came out, I think, like a few days later or a week later. So we could be expecting another trailer very, very soon. So hopefully that is coming uh, and I'll be able to do another video for you guys. So only other thing I would say, uh, the stage that, that, that Trunks seems to be fighting in, and I want to say Gohan too, um, it looks like, I don't know if this is the ultimate attack playing tricks on the color here. Um, cause I know when they, when you, you're about to do ultimate, the sky gets a bit darker. It looks like it could be the. It looks like this. He's, he's in the city, but it looks like the, the the city in the future where he fought Goku Black and Zamasu, uh, because of because of how like green the sky is. So that could be that could be another confirmation of a different version of the city, uh, in the future, or it could be it could be how the stage transitions maybe, um, <clears throat> when you turn ultimate. So you go from like. One version of the of destroyed future city from Z, and then you turn up, and then you do your ultimate. It turns into the green sky version of the city. Maybe I don't know if I'd want that. I'd like to do have different versions of the city, just so obviously that wouldn't make sense if you were doing a story mode with Goku Black and Zamasu. But we'll have to wait and see what this stage actually is, which version of the city it is. Um, otherwise, guys, I don't really know what else to say. I just sort of want to sh share share my thoughts now and update you guys on on some on the on some sparking zero news. Um, and so. Until we get a new trailer, do drop a like if you've enjoyed my video today and uh, leave some comments below because uh, I'd like to hear what, you, what your thoughts are and what the uh, what else you, and who else you want to expect from the trailer. What other characters Master and Apprentice like uh, would, you, would you hope to see revealed in the trailer yourselves? Um, I don't know if there's any more on the top, off the top of my head. I want to say Vegeta and Kaba. I don't know <clears throat> I don't know if they count because I know he, I know Kaba calls Vegeta Master. Um, I doubt we'll see a Goku vs. Uh fight. Um, don't know if it was meant to be confirmed in this. Maybe we'll see Tien versus Chatsu, although they're more of a duo. What? They're more of a. They're more like sparring partners rather than Master and Apprentice because they train under what's his name and Dragon Ball. I can't remember his name. Otherwise, yeah, let me know in the comments below who, who else you would like to see in the trailer. And until then, take care, guys. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.